Good morning, mighty men. It's been said that all politics is local. Well, I contend that all spiritual awakening is local. Historian David Barton says that revivalist George Whitfield traveled from Georgia to what is called today Maine and back holding revival meetings at every stop along the way. And he did that seven times. That's why 8% of Americans heard him preach in person. The result was so many individual communities that saw revival that today we call it the Great Awakening. David Barton has more to say on that subject, and I'll share some of that tomorrow. Our Bible reading today is Mark chapter 2 and verse 1. And when he returned, Jesus, to Capernaum, after some days it was reported that he was at home, and many were gathered together, so that there was no more room for them, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them, and they came, bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him, and when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. And then, of course, we know that Jesus healed him. Let's pray. Lord, we see that there are four men here who took responsibility for a fifth man. Lord, we pray that you would raise up men who would take responsibility for other men. Lord, that men would support one another, that men would come alongside one another as we need it, that men would be in accountability relationships with one another. Lord, we're asking for the men to rise up during this time. This is the time when we need to see men arise, that each one would take their corner of the bed. If there had only been three men, uh, this would not have worked. It took everyone to be at their proper place. Lord, we pray for every man to take their place. And Lord, I thank you that these men had faith and were an example to us that we need to have faith. It says, when Jesus saw their faith, it wasn't just the faith of the paralytic, he saw the faith of the four. Lord, we want men to rise up. We're calling for men to rise up, men who will intercede, men who will take action as these men took action. That men who have a, a, a get-or-done kind of attitude for your kingdom. Lord, we pray for revival. We pray for pockets of revival. We pray for communities in revival. Lord, we pray that these revivals would spread from one place to another place across our nation and that that spread would turn into a great awakening. We pray, Lord, that every community would see revival. They would be led particularly by the men. These men who are calling to rise up Lord, we pray that men would take their place and that every community would start to see the revival that you have in store for each community and that men would take the dominion that you have given us according to your word and that we would walk in your ways. Lord, we say, let there be purity, let there be holiness, men who have clean hands and a pure heart who ascend your holy hill. And then, Lord, that there would sweep revival, that there would be sparks, and that there would spread like wildfire across our nation. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining me, men. Shalom.